Hello everyone and God bless you. My name is Tony Fisher and today I am starting a new series called The Bible in Context. And what I'm going to be doing is reading some scripture showing how we can easily take them out of context and then show the actual context that is in the Bible itself. So to start off we are going to be reading John chapter 13 verse 7 in our first episode of this and this is how it goes. Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will know after this. So we can, it's very easy for us to read these uh, scriptures and to get the wrong context out of it, to get the wrong meaning out of it, you know, to say, Oh, well, what Jesus is saying here, it's kind of clear, is that, you know, I don't know what he's doing now, but sooner or later I'm going to understand it. So whatever I'm praying for, I might not see it now, but sooner or later I will receive it. But that is not the, what the context is here. What the context is, if we read a little bit more, you see, that's the issue with just reading the verse of the day or just opening the Bible and reading one verse because it, it could dilute our minds and make us have this different thought on God. But let's continue to read uh, verse 8 also. Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. And this is the main part here, guys. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. So look what Jesus Christ is telling Peter here, that he needs to cleanse him. He needs to wash him. And what's the point there? How does that make sense? Okay, the way it makes sense, guys, is that when Moses built the temple, uh, God used him to build the temple, but then... He had to sprinkle the place with water and blood in order to cleanse the place with the blood of an animal, obviously, but uh, to cleanse the place because God's spirit cannot dwell in a dirty environment, which is a sinful environment, something that is built with human hands, whatever it may be. So what Jesus Christ is showing him here, you know, I'm washing your feet and you don't understand what I'm doing now, but sooner or later you will know. You will know what? You will know that you are cleansed. You are clean and now my spirit can live within you. Yes, you are dirty, filthy humans. But one day you will be cleansed by my blood and then you will be made cleansed so my spirit can live in you. That is the context here. And to finish us out here, let us go to the book of Hebrews chapter uh, 10 verse 22 let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of ha faith having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water so look what the bible is telling us here guys we are cleansed that's the meaning of that verse that verse does not mean that whatever you're praying for you don't see it now but you will in the future it's not what it means. The verse is very clear on what it means. The chapter is very clear on what it means. And what it means is that Jesus Christ has cleansed us. And the part that we don't know, we do know. You see, this is another thing, too, that's good to keep the Bible in context. It's who he's speaking to. He's speaking to disciples that haven't been cleansed yet. And he's telling them that they will be cleansed. You see, the issue is when we accept Jesus Christ, we are already cleansed. We will be cleansed. Chances are that we will be cleansed before we even encounter John chapter 13, verse 7. So it is very hard for us to read this scripture and be like, okay, I don't understand it now, but I will later. Because chances are you understand it already. Chances are you already understand that you are cleansed. You know, your pastor, whether you got baptized or whatever the case may be, your pastor must have told you. He must have told you that you are cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. So you know this already. They didn't know. We do know. That's all I have for you guys today. This was our first episode. Please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to try my best to do these at least once a week. But I'm going to keep trying them more. If you have any scriptures that you would like for me to read in context, please leave them in the description box below. Sorry, not the description box below. The comments down below. Thank you very much. My name is Tony Fisher and you have a good one.